Oi pessoas, tudo bem com vocês? Então, hoje eu vou testar meus conhecimentos do Brasil. If you haven't seen my previous videos, I've done a few videos about kind of the history of Brazil and some interesting or random facts about Brazil. So I was thinking, perfect time to take a test about Brazil. I feel like my knowledge is good enough to at least do like kind of well with some general knowledge questions about Brazil. I've got a couple tests that I'm going to take. One is, I think, like significantly easier than the other one. So I'm going to start with that one. And then after that, I'm going to take a slightly more difficult test, which I think will be more interesting for you guys, actually, who are from Brazil, because it might be a bit of a challenge for you as well. I have no idea what the questions are yet, but I just know that the difficulty levels are different between the two tests. Before we start, I think you guys should also join me in taking this quiz. Um, mark your scores down and post them in the comments and we can see and compare our scores. And I want to see how your knowledge is of Brazil as well. So do the quiz as well and post in the comments your results. So, without further ado, Anchis G. Commissar, say inscribe no more canal E. Be seeking out Instagram, Falicom, Jake. And of course, that I'm likey. Give a like, give a thumbs up. Have a look at these little cheeky quizzes I've got. So how much do I know about Brazil? In what month does the world famous carnival fest... Yeah, I know that. Fest February. The national dish of Brazil is feijoada. What what is it exactly? <laughs> it said a martial art. <laughs> uh, no, it's a stew made of black beans and meat. Uh, which of the following is not a Brazilian dance? Forro, zamba, or samba? Well, it's going to be zamba. Uh, how many times has Brazil won the football World Cup? Well, my girlfriend never shuts up about this, and so I know this. It's five times. England's only won it once, that's why we're so desperate to win another trophy. We've only ever won one trophy. I've never seen England win a trophy. It, it's quite depressing. Which other country has more people of original descent living in Brazil than anywhere else in the world? That's a difficult question, isn't it? Um, What? Which other country has more people of original descent living in Brazil? I'm just going to guess Japan. What is the word karaoke used to describe in Rio? It's local people. Yeah, local people, yeah. What kind of behavior does a jetinho brasileiro, or the Brazilian way, denote? Uh, that's, a, that's an interesting one. Um, an easy charm with the object of one's desire. Tendency for melodrama and romanticism. Cheeky bit of rule bending. I feel like it's a cheeky bit of rule bending. What does the shape of the city Brasilia resemble from above? It resembles an airplane. What do the stars on the Brazilian flag represent? Um, I feel like it's going to be the Brazilian states. Uh, what is the Bumba Meal Boy? I don't know what that is actually. A Brazilian cake with made with sugar and nuts. A well known Brazilian folk song. A street festival popular in the north of Brazil. Ah, that's difficult, isn't it? I, I know quite well Brazilian cakes. Very good. At least I think I do. I don't know about Brazilian folk songs, and I don't know a street festival popular north of Brazil. I'm going to take a guess on that one. Okay, so the results are in. Let's take a look. So yes, carnival. It happens in February. The national dish of Brazil is feijoada, and it's a stew made from black beans and meat. Correct. Which of the following is not a Brazilian dance? Zamba. How many times has Brazil won the World Cup? Of course, five times. I. I I want to put my life savings on it. Not that I have much, but you know. Uh, which other country has more people of the original descent living in Brazil? Anywhere else in the world? 
Japan, Japan. Cariocas are local people from Rio. The Jechinho Brasileira is a cheeky bit of rule bending. Brasilia, yep, is in the shape of an airplane. What do stars on the Brazilian flag represent? Brazil, 26 states. And the Bumba Meal Boy is a street festival popular in the north of Brazil. 10 out of 10. Okay, sign me up for the passport, baby. Okay, so that was like 10 out of 10. Uh, it was definitely a little bit too easy, but it's like an introduction to Brazilian knowledge, right? And so I passed that test. Now we're going to move on to the real test. It's going to be slightly more difficult. And I'm even hoping that it's going to challenge you guys as well. So let's take a look. Geographically, Brazil is the largest country in South America. Yes. I am comfortable with that. Correct. Brazil is by far the largest country in South America. Yes, I knew that. It's a big, big old country, Brazil. What is Brazil's formal name? This one, this one is confusing. I'm gonna say Brazil Democratic Republic. It's either Federative, Federative. Oh God. I'm gonna go Federative, I can't even say that word. Republic of Brazil. Correct. Continue. In recent years, a massive scandal involving Brazil's state oil country, Petrobras, has ensnared that's some difficult words here. Two presidents and other prominent figures. What was the code name of the investigation that I mean, oh it's car wash, isn't it? Is it car wash? I feel like it's the car wash. I watched I watched some documentaries about this and oh if I get it wrong, that's just gonna make me seem like an idiot, so I'm just gonna select it. Yes, correct. Brazil's authority launched the car wash investigation. Lava, Lava Jato in Portuguese, Portuguese, 2014 eventually brought to light a vast array of corruption involved in Petrobras, one of the pillars of Brazil's economy. That's awkward. That was the one that ended with Lula convicted of corruption. Yeah, I watched the documentary. Brazil has maintained civilian rule since what year? I have no idea. No idea. I'm gonna guess 1964. Incorrect. It's D. It says Brazil has experienced stretches of both military and civilian government over the last several decades after a civilian dictatorship from 1930 to 1945. There was a military dictatorship in 1964. Crazy. It's not that long ago, is it? I would like to learn more about that. That's something I don't know much about. Brazil's population ranks. You have like a lot of countries with a very high population. I would say like fifth. USA's more, Russia's probably more, India is more, China's more. I'm gonna say fifth. Correct. Brazil has an estimated population of 209 million people. Uh, we have about 65 million in the UK, um, and of which like, I think 9 million live in London, which is quite crazy. We're a small country. In 2017, Brazil had a larger gross domestic product, a measure of the overall size of the economy, than which of the following countries? I've got to process that, that's quite a lot of info. I guess Canada. It would be Canada or Mexico, I don't know, I feel like Russia is like a huge economy. Canada? Or it could be all of the above, but that would be a big stretch. Incorrect! D! It was all of the above. So Brazil has climbed the rankings modestly in recent years, thanks to generally strong, if uneven, economic growth in 2010, it ranked 10th. It's quite impressive. Okay, Brazil's gross domestic product per capita, a measure of the average wealth per person is approximately equal to that of which country. All right, what do I know about these countries? India is gonna be low. Chile, I've heard, I think is quite high. Malaysia, no idea. Poland, I think this is gonna be Poland. I'm just gonna go with it. Incorrect. Ah, bollocks. The correct answer is D, Brazil's gross domestic product per capita stood at about $9,900 in 2017. What is Brazil's largest export? Soybeans, crude oil, tropical fruits or aircraft? Okay, so I know that Brazil has 
Well, I watched an old documentary and I know you have a deal with KLM, the Dutch airline. So you build aircraft in Brazil. So it could be, could be aircraft. Soya being the Amazon, there's a lot of land there. Um, and I know that the Amazon has been getting destroyed to create soya beans to create to create land to de develop soya beans. So it could be that crude oil. I'm not too sure. I don't think it's crude oil. It's like biggest countries I think come from Middle East. Could be completely wrong there. Could be tropical fruits. But there's loads of countries that export tropical fruits, right? This is difficult. Brazil's largest export. Soybeans, correct. Brazil exported more than 19 billion worth of soybeans. The United States was the largest source of Brazil's imports in 2016, providing large quantities of fuel, aircraft, and machinery. That's interesting. Roughly what proportion of Brazil's territory is made up of forest? I'm just gonna take a complete guess here. I reckon 40%, which is quite a high. Incorrect. What was it, C? 60%. I should have known that, having watched recent videos that really emphasized the, the size of the Amazon. Brazil has won the soccer year, I know. Except, none of, none of them. Brazil has won it the most times. It may be alongside Germany, definitely more than Italy and definitely more than Argentina, so none of the above. Correct. Ah, they won it the most times. Germany and Italy have four. Argentina, France, Uruguay, two, and England and Spain have one. How did I do? Six out of ten. It's not as good as the original one. Well, guys, if you played along with me, let me know how you've done. Tell me your score from the two quizzes in the comments. And as always, any random interesting facts, or if you know any other kind of like tests like this that I can take, then let me know in the comments. Post a link to it. And I would like to make another video of taking some tests. I also would like to take the, the Great British Citizen Test as well, which is a test that people have to take in order to gain their full British citizenship. That could be interesting for me to take uh, with you guys as well. So let me know if you think that's a good idea. Post in the comments. As always, Satan's going to be on my channel. E me signal Instagram, Falicom Jake, that I'm likey. Ati mais, ati logo. Ciao.